use that.
Fox. Ivy wants me to find out what makes you tick. So let's get started. There's no need for that. I certainly can discuss this rather unfortunate situation before it gets completely out of hand. Now, what exactly did this Ivy tell you to do? Simple. She wants me to crack open that dome you have for a head and find out how your brain is connected to your circuits. Perhaps I can be of assistance in that regard. After all, there isn't much else I can do now that you've removed my head from its chassis. How about we forge some sort of an accord, just between the two of us? What the hell is an accord? You talking about wires or something? Right. I need to phrase this so even a dullard like you would understand. Let me put it this way. You need information that's going to make your boss happy. I want to keep my brain in one piece. Maybe we can cut a deal. Fine. I'm listening. I'll tell you everything I know about my own construction. All the bits that Ivy wants to hear. And I promise you, she won't be disappointed. In return, you keep those tools away from me and put me back onto my body. You get what you want, and I don't get dissected, like some kind of a laboratory experiment. Do we have a deal? Well, that would save me a lot of time. I suppose it will have to survive. I mean, I come to warn you of a new surge who stalks the innocent and destroys my robot allies who only seek to save lives. This scourge cares nothing for the progress we have made, but we will you fight don't look like and one of the rest of What are you doing here? People of the Commonwealth, it is I, the man. Hunting down a radar beacon. A radar beacon? How very interesting. That's a very specific part to be searching for. And you don't look like the typical part scavenger type to me. I calculate a 98.8% .8 chance that you're looking for the mechanist. If I'm correct, and I usually am, then perhaps we can help each other with our respective predicaments. I could definitely use the help. I thought you might say something like that. Now, how can I put this as simple as possible so someone at your processing speed can understand? In order to find the mechanist, you're going to need more than just my radar beacon. You're going to need access to the facility. I'm willing to provide said access, but you'll have to fulfill two simple conditions. One, you need to get me as far away as you can from these lunatics. And two, find me a new body. Once both conditions are satisfied, I'll gladly provide you with everything you need. Do we have a deal? How do I know you'll keep up your end of the bargain? Even though there's a human brain floating in a biogel inside my head, I'm still bound by my original programming. It pains me to admit it, but one of my directives states that I cannot lie. Ever. So, while I'm not the most charming robot you've ever encountered, the last thing I'm going to do is violate an agreement we've made. Now that we have that out of the way, deal. do we have a deal decision? Once we're at our destination, I'll happily relinquish my radar beacon as a gesture of good faith. Now, I strongly suggest you stop loitering in the middle of a hospital. Nothing for the progress we have made, but we will find it. And run! 
dodge the Where'd that little fucker go? You really are taking the path of most resistance here, aren't you?
based on my limited experience with you, I estimate a 65% chance of making it out of here. Not op optimal. An increase in effort could have an impact on the odds. Okay, cut the shit. Who is that? Negative sensor read. Weapons cold. What the? This is the one that ripped my head off. I demand we rip her head off. It's only fair. Scanner's clear. Keep its location a closely guarded secret, but would secure it against intrusion as well. 
I'm terribly sorry. I hadn't considered that possibility at all. I'm afraid when it comes to assisting humans, I'm not doing very well lately. Don't be ridiculous. If it wasn't for you, we couldn't have gotten this far already. That's kind of you to say. Ever since I let my friends die in that caravan, I feel like I've been failing in my duties. I chose the route we took the day we were attacked. Perhaps if I had selected an alternate route, they'd still be alive. Sometimes I wish that Jackson had programmed me with my personality mode set permanently to disabled. Your personality defines you as an individual. Never let that go. You're right. All of the good memories I've experienced being Ada would be lost if my personality mode was shut down. I can't afford to lose them. I really think I needed to hear that from someone else. Thank you. Now I've distracted you for long enough. I'll finish up my calculations while you deal with our new friend, Jezebel. Hopefully, she'll be able to grant us access to the Mechanist's facility and we can put an end to this nonsense once and for all. <laughs>